All right, so let's play this in full as always. <laughs> Beg your pardon, forgot to knock. Oh, it's great, I love it. All right, this is super picky, and I know this is just step mode, and there will be some timing changes, but. Since you are somewhat pausing right there, a finger there, there's a slight feeling of, are you turning off the lights? Nothing happens to the switch. So just watch out once you spline this, that it's kind of like a nice fluid move, uh, move towards that. I mean, worst case, you put this here or not at all. You know what I mean? Um, in case someone uh, like me <laughs> might get confused. That's all cool. Again, timing wise, this might be much once you spline this. That's a pretty big move. It might end up being almost too uh, angry, but it could work. I don't know, I'm just I'm just wondering. Uh splining wise. I like that you already have offsets in your fingers. I like this too, that again, this this over spliny will it's gonna look like it's hitting his head. Pow on purpose. So just watch out. You might have to flatten the arc. Keep the timing with flatten the arc so that it's slower. Just something to watch out for, which could be okay because you don't have to break frame and and uh, be so high. But it it helps with a nice silhouette. But um, just something to look out for. I do like this here that you push down, and I like that the head goes down with it. You feel the force because this is moving over. This is all great. I love this. So love seeing just that moment here, with the elbow coming out, so that you open the door. Again, this might be a big move once you spline this. It might just have a nice little rhythm to it. Just watch out. It could all be a bit too fast, but the same thing here. That's a big move, but then this, the spacing is more accurate where it kind of eases in. So just watch out for that. There might be a little bit of more of a head tilt on the, on that walk. So you're like on this something or the head like that, or it all has you know a lean over or has like a counter move there. Watch out, this feels a bit too flat. But again, this is just step mode in one of the frames in between. Again, I like the offset on the finger posing. That worked really well. This will be uh, important in spline. Again, how will this feel? Is this enough? Can we bring that fist here? Do we need more? I think since we linger on this, if there's any way to have a control on the back to move this over this has a slight broken feel with this up here with that shoulder and i know you need to be so long but maybe you can just stretch and we won't see it um or you translate the head forward and down so maybe there's more of that back geometry visible but if there's any way to when you you know even if you bring that a bit lower and this part a bit higher to have a bit of nicer shape this just seems a bit broken because we are lingering <laughs> just enough it's not like it's a one frame thing. I think the rest is okay. How it disappears and quickly goes back again. Once we spline this, we'll see how that feels. This might be too much of a pop. You might have to go here and, and the, the fist here. Maybe we'll see. You could just work. I do love bam. That stretch of the face is great with that. Again, great drag on the fingers because totally knocked out. There will be no strength or tension in the fingers. I think that's great. Yeah, it's great. And I like that it has that impact of turning the head, which turns the body, falling down. That's great. The door might come back a bit much. I mean, if you are coming hitting a, a you know invisible wall out there and the door comes back i mean it's i know it's all in cartoon land and why not but then technically the door would just come and swing here and ease in why would it go back this way but it could i don't know just wondering once you spline this might be too much where it's suddenly going what's going on over there we're kind of looking at those shapes here moving and then we might miss not miss i mean it comes in fairly fast i mean the eye will go over there but i don't know just wondering I'm thinking out loud what, what could be distracting, potentially. This is great, because it works with the music. I 
I like that change of the expression. Something to think about. Maybe he comes out here. And in that little moment through there, he already has a little bit of a lowering of lids with a little bit of a smile maybe that it worked. Or not. This is not wrong. Um, I'm just throwing out other ideas that maybe would enhance that just that moment as almost like a small anticipation to this. And maybe the smile would not work because there is no smile here. Or it's just this little moment of satisfaction. They're going back. Okay, now I got to be back to being careful. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's great. I still love all this. Getting close to the wall. Thank you, pardon. And having that pretend step over. That's all great. Great hand poses. Such a great shot. I'm just, I'm just showing, talking about what I like here. This might be the first one where I would say, watch out. You don't really want to bend your arm towards camera. So if you do your squinty test or your, your push F7 in Maya for a silhouette um, or whatever software, you can do just, you know, like an outline view without the sets. Um, that will be just, it feels like a short arm. Even though I see a little bit of a bend, it has a slight feel of that's just the arm. So usually when you have a bend in an arm, you want to do either two, you know, on the upper, on the lower side. So we can see the actual length of the arm. Here, when the bend is straight away from the camera, it just gives us a weirdly uh, feel, you know, weird feel of a short arm. Great pose though here. Forgot to knock. Beg your pardon. Forgot to knock. This is cool. The knee-jerk reaction would be, watch out, twins, blah, blah, blah. But, you know, I actually just had a comment about that in one of my classes at the Academy where I was going, where I said, I'm, I'm, every now and then I'm just, I don't want to reinforce that. Like, meaning that, you know, like everything, in animation, it's always very important that everything is clear, with a clear silhouette. And, like, I don't mind this because it's a color silhouette, too, with the dark and the light. Not, not everything has to be you know, out in the open where it's a clear silhouette. And what I like about this, where, where to me, I feel like this is fine because A, this shape is different than this, just visually. Yes, it's the same somewhat hand pose, but not quite really, and it's somewhat the same height. But what I like about this is that everything is offset, and then he straightens his jacket because he wants to be neat. And to me, this reinforces the symmetry, being neat and clean. And then when you get out of it, you are back into offset asymmetry pose. So I would say, I think that's great. But there's always that, that initial thing of, oh, watch out, asymmetry, offset, clean silhouette, twinning. Sometimes to me, twinning is appropriate. It really depends on the context. And for me right now, this is fine. But it's also, you know, if you want to change a little bit, I don't know. To me, it would be weird to straighten a jacket where one hand is up here, one is down here, because then you pull differently and that might offset the jacket position and then it's not neat because you want things then to be neat when you have a jacket uh suit jacket and, and a tie anyway thinking out loud here no one's listening to me <laughs> well that's great pardon? all this forgot to knock your pardon forgot to knock it might just work once you spline this you might have a little bit of a i might i uh what is it i forgot to knock forgot to knock so it's forgot to knock maybe i'll knock you have a little bit of a head up so that if you track the the path of the nose. Forgot to knock. Right now it does this. Maybe it's forgot to knock. Like a little bit of a accent in that heaven. It says knock. Maybe. It might just be too much. But I'm always a big fan of having a little head accents there. Depending on the audio. So that could be something you could put in there. Forgot to knock. I love this too. That after this, his little quip. Back to that, that mood and asymmetry in the face there with a lean over checking again being back in spy mode okay what's next it's so good anyway it's basically almost 10 minutes of me saying it's awesome <laughs> with maybe maybe one or two worthwhile points like the silhouette on that elbow and some of the spacing or something you know and that and that shoulder issue there but it could have been a one minute critique saying it's awesome but I also want to point out what i like in it and actually just in case someone's wondering I want to bring this in frame neatly here. That these are characters from that short for that project. Use with permission, and I'll have a link in the description with more information about that Agent 327 project. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.